professional record. 26 wins, no losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib, the Eagle, the All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna keep this clean. Touch gloves now if you wish to. All right, let's do this. Well, if you bet that the fighters would not touch gloves, cash those tickets, and wherever you are in the world tonight, one way or another, we will all witness a piece of UFC history. The King is back, looking to regain his throne. And we are underway. This fight clock brought to you by Modelo Especial. Brew with a fighting spirit since 1925. McGregor in green. Ramago Battle in black. McGregor pressure. lands early. Pressure right off the bat by Connor. He's trying to force the shot out of Khabib with pressure instead of waiting for Khabib to come at him. Khabib got a hold of his ankles, he's got his leg. And what he's got to do is get his left leg over the back ankle of Khabib's right leg. He needs to get that left. Connor needs the left leg behind the ankle of Khabib in order to stuff this. And now he's got it. But a good defense by Connor. So far, he's this. Got the ankles. Connor oh. stays on the ankle. He's good. He's doing a fantastic job of defending. Look at him spinning around. Khabib looking to complete the takedown, and he gets it. Man. Connor gets right up to the cage. Let's see if he can get back up to his feet. It's one of the big questions. He's got his feet tied up well. Look how good Khabib has done a job of wrapping those two legs up together. This is what he does to everybody he fights. He crosses your legs. And now if your legs can't get away, then you can't get up. You're pinned to the floor. And he's done this better than anybody. He elevates and straightens your legs out. And now what he's going to do is try to lift Connor's knees and legs higher than Connor's head so that he can't move. Connor's just got to stay calm yep. and not use his energy because he's not taking damage here. It feels like he's far better equipped to handle five rounds than he was when he left in 2016. Khabib does such a good job of wrapping those legs up, extending them and wrapping them up so you can't get them out from under you. I've never seen anybody be able to straighten a leg out like that. The way he hangs and he almost knee bars you by collecting your heel up. It's just different how he holds you there. Most people can get away when you do that. But when Khabib grabs your legs, he just keeps them. Yeah, he's doing it again. Look at him pinch those legs together. He does together. it different and they cross every single time. He crosses them over each other. He's just so good at squeezing. This is what you gotta do to Connor early though, if you're Khabib, you have to do this early. You can't try to give him all the rest he needs in the first couple rounds. That's when Connor's the most dangerous. Couple right hands have landed for Khabib, his first strikes of the fight. McGregor trying to control his breathing, ain't a big right hand there. And what Connor's doing is he's trying to dig under hooks and stay in a ball so there's no hooks. So Connor, see how he's got over the top? of Khabib's head or his arms. He needs to get in between the arms and legs of Khabib if he's going to get up. He can't be on the outside of Khabib's arms here. Again, Khabib ties those legs up together. It's just tremendous how he does it. And it's, it's something that you see him do against every single guy he fights. They know what he wants to do. They can't stop him. He's got a different type of pressure from here. I think he's just extremely strong as well. And now he's under the back of Connor. So that Connor can't get his hips underneath him. It's a lifetime of grappling. And you do have a referee in Herb Dean that is going to give Khabib every opportunity to work on the ground, especially when he has the legs trapped. Right now we're seeing Connor okay because he's not taking damage, so he's staying very calm so he doesn't waste his energy. But once he gets wore out from this grappling, then you're going to start seeing Khabib posture up and start landing the big punches. But he can't do it too soon, because otherwise Connor will get away. 
He's got to play the squeeze game right now. Nice pass, straight to half guard. And now the, the pressure is just heavy here. You can tell he's extremely heavy. That left shoulder and the chin of Connor really helped makes it minimal for Connor to be able to get to a hit. He does a tremendous job, and he keeps you from being able to breathe. Pressure on the chest. And then the overwhelming sensation that he can continue to do this as long as he wants. And that is exhausting in and of itself. I love that he's just being patient, though. This is what you've got to do to Connor early. You can't be silly and try to pretend that you're going to give him space to stand up. You've got to smother him and try to take some of the wind out of his sails early so he's not so powerful. Take some of that pop away and then get, take some chances after that if you're Khabib. And Connor can't use too much explosive energy to try to get up without technique. If he does that, he knows he's going to burn himself out. And he knows if he can't stop Khabib, Khabib's going to be able to do this in the second, the third, the fourth, and then how how long can he keep him away from him? Well, don't forget, Connor used literally no energy right now because he took no damage. He did get stuck on the floor, but he has no so the second round he'll be fresh. Let's see what he does with it. Exactly the start that Khabib Nurmagomedov was looking for in round one. You know the shots get slow, slower as the rounds go on. That was his absolute best there. When he got behind the black line, you chased him. So let's keep him behind the black line, let him come to you. Your left hand will be there. Sting him, circle him off. He's doing a lot of work circling around. When he's in range, pop. Perfect. Ken Velasquez. Yeah, you did everything good, everything good. How you feel it? How are you still so? Keep your chin down, keep your chin down. Okay. Keep your chin down, hands up. If you grab his leg, just push him against the cage and then take him down from there. Dom, any thoughts on that messaging there from Javier Mendez and crew? The Javier Mendez is okay, that's great, but they look a little frantic. I mean, that'll that would that would make me yeah, feel crazy in yeah. there. Yeah, like let's calm down Behind a little guy, give him some real feedback. Behind I don't know. Well, every mixed martial arts round begins on the feet. Let's see how it goes here early round two. Connor knows he can land that left whenever he wants, so that's what he's waiting for. He's waiting for that counter. He's waiting to force Khabib to take a bad shot and then make him pay for it. That's what we're seeing here. McGregor fires the knee up here to just miss. Nasty right hand. Wow. And that's the problem with takedowns is they gain the respect of the striker. Your striking gets better if you force takedowns because you're thinking about the shot. And now the shot's set up from the overhand. He goes back and forth, and that's what's made Nurmagomedov off the best. That right wow. hand. Wow. What an entry by Nurmagomedov, and now he has McGregor up against the fence. Four plus minutes with which to work. And this is what Khabib has done to everybody. If, if you stuff his wrestling, then he's going to punch you. Once you start getting punched, his wrestling opens back up. And that's why you need a threat of grappling and striking mixed together. But realistically, the sharpness goes to Carter in the striking, but the grappling is just so one-dimensional and so over... Like, he's, he's working so an arm better. triangle here. He's got it up. He's on top of him, full mount. Good scramble by Connor getting his guard back. Butterfly, not full guard. The Habib's all over him here. And McGregor exploded there to try to escape. Nothing doing. 90 seconds gone by here, round two. And the moral victory of Khabib landing that big right hand. Oh, big ground and power. And Khabib said he wanted to make suffer. He also said he wanted to change his face. This is one of the scariest things I've yeah. ever heard a person say about a fight. Well, not unlike Tony Ferguson, Khabib can go all day. Just... Huh? Oh, big right hands landing from Nurmagomedov, who came into this fight unquestionably in the best shape of his life. Connor's talking to him. I can't hear what he's saying, but he's getting tapped. Well, that's Khabib talking, and he's he's not saying nice things. Oh! Big elbow 
elbow from Nemago Menov did not appear to cut McGregor open. The power he generates from this ground and pound is just interesting. I don't understand because you can hear it landing over and over. It's just ferocious. I mean, he's the best ground and pound artist in the sport. Oh, oh. he's getting lit. Strikes here, Herb Dean watching closely. Khabib is trying to smash his face. McGregor forced to just cover up. How many shots can one man take? Two minutes to go in the round. And he's trying to wait, he's trying to gas Khabib out because he's not he's taking shots, but they're not the worst shots you could take. He's covered up. They're just it just doesn't look good. I don't think he's trying to gas Khabib out. I think he's getting smashed. I think it's a mixture of everything. I don't think he has a choice here. I don't think he's trying to gas him out. I think he's getting smashed. I agree, but if you have no, you have no that choice was an either. Illegal knee on the ground by Connor. Oh. A knee to the head of a downed opponent. Can't interlock the toes in the fence. McGregor got away with that one. Still doing it. Herb Dean should Khabib be warning going, him there. He's going for a Kamura that here. Is, that is tight. That looks like it's going to get finished here, ladies and gentlemen. That's tight. Good defense. It's like he 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 to why isn't he trying to get up? Because he's exhausted and he's getting his face punched in. And I don't think he can. I just think Khabib is so much better on the ground that he's surprised. I agree. And Ramago Menon's output has it Wayne one bit. Now remember, we're dealing with the old rules here, so Khabib. Bananas as McGregor gets up right, but for how long? And he's taking some big, deep breaths. 30 seconds here in round two. Khabib can keep this pace for five. And I don't believe Connor has a stoppage win in the UFC after the second round. That is correct. Connor hasn't had an answer at all for the grappling Khabib in one bit. Nurmagomedov with a huge second round, likely a 10 8. What in your hand? What a stand up, brilliant. Okay, it's those low singles coming from halfway across the cage now. Draw him on, Connor. Pop the, pop the jab and pull out. Let him fall into the space. Straight over foot there. Do not chase him this round. Draw him on. If you push him back, you can spend the first minute just getting your broke covered. Push him back. He's not even tired here. This is what's terrifying. Look at this right hand. Boom. Clips him on the chin. Drops him. Let's see it again. Winging right hand. And as you said, Dominic Cruz, he was looking for the takedown, and that's why he got hit by the right hand. It takes you back to. Prokop versus Kevin Randleman. Same sort of situation. you got to respect the takedown, especially when you don't get up. Round three brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. John Kavanaugh not wanting McGregor to chase. We'll see if he can oblige. Kavanaugh said pressure to get your air back. You can get a little air if you pressure in the beginning. And now Khabib's tired too, don't forget that. The striking, he's full of blood. The ball card. Perhaps McGregor sensing that now. McGregor Khabib, looking for that big left hand. Khabib used tons of energy on that ground and pound, Joe. Tons. That was a crazy pace that last round. Well, we did see him slow down considerably against Al Iaquinta in the later rounds. And now you're seeing Connor go at the body. That's the same thing he did to Mendez. He waited two rounds and started teeping at the body. And then starts going up high. There it is. There's the teeps to the body. He's just trying to take there out of Khabib, letting Khabib wrestle himself out. Because you gotta it, it can go both ways. Well, you hate to read too much into the body language, but this is as fatigued as I've seen Khabib Nurmagomedov in that octagon. I don't know if he looks fatigued to me. 
It doesn't look like he's breathing heavy. It looks like he's trying to find his moments, but he's getting out boxed. Yeah, I don't think he's tired. I think he's just a little heavy yeah. from the from the grappling last round, but he's not tired per se. His muscles are full of blood, so he's a little slower. And that's where Connor can use his left. And there's the shot. And that's what his coaches, oh, that's what they were talking about. That one. He stuck that one. Oh, elbow by Connor. That's what Kevin was body. talking about. Said the first couple shots are gonna come heavy, later oh. it won't be so heavy. Big right hand by Khabib. Just over three minutes here in this third round. Level change from Khabib. He stuffed that as well. Look at this. This is where it's getting interesting. Now, the real question is, how much endurance does Connor have now? How much has he worked on his, his conditioning? And how do you prepare for a guy like Nurmagomedov? I nice see the body by Connor. Those knees to the body will add up, and so will the punches and the kick teeps. Oh, oh uppercut! McGregor faints. These guys are staring each other in the face, right at time, no range at all. They're just sitting there punching, exchanging. McGregor continues to bank that body work. Seeing Khabib standing right in front of Conor like this is crazy. I don't understand why he doesn't shoot, why he doesn't mix it up. Oh, he clipped him the left hand. Oh! He slapped him. <laughs> he slapped him on that one. Front kick to the body by Conor. He's pawing with that punch. He's having a hard time getting that snap back. And Khabib standing right in front of Perhaps the best striker in UFC history, McGregor to the body again. Good left hand to the body there by Connor. Another good knee. Khabib to the body. He doesn't seem to fear the power coming back from McGregor as yet. Trip by Nurmagomedov gets McGregor down briefly. Back up to his feet, though. Very interesting. Slight edge in terms of the significant strikes in round three for Connor. Less than a minute to go in the round. And you see how Connor's co collecting the left arm of Khabib. That stops him from being able to connect his hands and he can't double off or grab a single leg. If you can't lock your hands together, you can't finish the takedown. So Connor's leaning against the fence and just controlling one arm. So what does Khabib do to counter that? You gotta try to get a single leg the best you can because you can't get a double as long as Connor's controlling your wrist. Here's so grabbing the glove there. You can't clasp your hands together. The only thing you can do is keep Work. the pressure like he's doing so you're not Work. getting picked apart. But you got to, free. He so he's got his glove. He's got his glove hey, underneath it. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep so he's just yeah, holding it I so see. he can't complete yeah. the takedown. Stop. 15 Stop. minutes in the books. Stop. We head to the championship rounds. Hey. Grabbing. Yes, sir. What did Khabib just say to him? Couldn't understand it. Well, Connor was grabbing his glove, which is illegal. The hooking of the glove is yes. illegal. It's a veteran move. <laughs> He's tired, brother. He's tired. Don't let him work. Don't let him work. Just pressure him. Listen, can you punch hard and go for the takedown? Listen, for them, for them. This, this is the fourth round. Drink some water. Drink some water. Sure. No, too much, too much work. Okay. Here. Here. Hey, he shouldn't be talking. I want him. Put his mouth this way. This is God. Give me a little bit more push. Khabib there protesting to the referee Herb Dean three times. Conor McGregor has held the glove. The and championship sure. rounds, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. And Khabib, if you've watched his career, you know he's not in his element unless he is jabbing. 
and talking to whomever. The referee, his opponent, round four. Watch the counter left hand of Connor. It's what he's been sent up. He's waiting for the right hand of Khabib. Oh, Connor. Connor looks very good coming out for this fourth round. I think, I swear, I think this is when he was looking to try to get him. Wait for Khabib to get a little tired on the takedowns and look to knock him out later. You would think it'd be the other way around, though. Second time for both of these fighters to have seen a fourth round in their careers. That jabbing front kick to the body. He used that fantastically against Chad Mendez, and he's using it here again tonight. There it is again. He's so worried about his, the power in his hands that sometimes you forget about his legs. Good entry by Nermago Manov McGregor trying to use the fence to his advantage. And he gets tripped right down. Too good. He does such a good job of using his legs to wrap up your legs. But Connor's back up to his feet almost. And this is where Khabib really starts to get ahead from this position. Once he gets here, he doesn't let go of that grip. And he goes back and forth between the double and he wears you out by putting all that pressure on your arms like that. It makes you carry his weight up against the fence. He's done this time and time again, and when you try to stand go, up without go, hand go. control, he throws you. Another warning from Herb Dean for a fence grab there. His grappling is just tremendous one step control. ahead. Just tremendous control on the ground. Four of seven on the takedowns for Nurmago Medov. But it's what he does with them. Two minutes have gone by here in round four. He's got an arm triangle yeah. almost, but Connor got his other, weaseled his other arm in there. It's in there, but it's still, the, the fact that he can pin the head against the arm is just, a, it's a big part of securing that. If he can control that, now he stepped the arm over. But now Connor regained that arm. The one thing Connor has done is stayed pretty safe. He just getting controlled very badly is the only difference. Good hip escape there by Connor. He needs to keep going if he has the energy. But again, Khabib uses those legs to tie his legs up. I mean, it's a big part of his grappling. It's not just grappling with his arms, but utilizing his legs for control. Big left hands from Nurmago Medov. Again, full mount, back mount. There's the choke. He's got it, it's under the neck. There it is. Nope, it's on the chin. There's the tap. Yeah. Still undisputed. Khabib Nurmagomedov has finished Conor McGregor tonight. Look at him. Look at him screaming at the corner. He's screaming at Dylan Dennis, Conor McGregor's jiu-jitsu coach. Look at him. Oh, and no, now Khabib no, no, jumps no, the fence. No, 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 no. Whoa! No, no. And he's going right at Dylan Dennis. Oh, Mayhem! No. Oh, no. Total chaos here. It looks like UFC security has corralled Khabib Nurmagomedov. Well, Khabib wasn't kidding when he said no handshake after the fight. Oh! And now one of Nurmagomedov's teammates throws a right-handed cutter. All hell has broken loose. This is crazy. And this is not... Well, this is... This is not something we're going to like, nothing we're going to condone. It's not something we want to promote. This is not professionalism, but it is the fight game to this an extent. Is, this is horrible. It can get nasty. It's this is not, the nastiest I've ever seen. Yeah, this, is, this is not how you want it to be horrible. in this sport. This is not how we want to Khabib represent ourselves. jumping out of the octagon like that and attacking someone in the crowd. And I think... One, I mean, that is so stupid and so unnecessary and so foolish. After and, such a spectacular victory. And one of Khabib's teammates, I believe Zubair Tahugov, landed a right-hand flush on Conor McGregor in there. This is going to stain an incredible performance for Khabib Nurmagomedov and out of character for him, too. Yeah, this is not the way you want to represent the sport here.
Well, Conor McGregor showed you the championship heart tonight. He had a few moments in the middle of this fight, but as many expected, Khabib Nurmagomedov once again for all his contemporaries, just too much. Too much on the ground. Had the striking going tonight. But I feel like this entire event has been marred by him jumping out of the octagon and uh, attacking Dylan Dennis like that. And it's just, just, the whole thing is so foolish. Well, it just ruins everything in it. And then his teammates jumping in, jumping in the octagon, punching Conor McGregor. I mean, this is just crazy. It's a habit. And I think they connected pretty heavy on Conor. Yes. They hit him from right behind. in front of us. Dana White in there trying to restore order. And Connor wasn't participating in this, by the way. They jumped him when he was just recovering from getting beaten. Well, hopefully the worst of this is behind us, but drinks are starting to fly a little bit in here. And Khabib is back inside the octagon back? now. How do we let these people back in here? Why don't we just separate them? I mean... Well, I don't, I don't know if there's enough security in the world, because more people who are in dispute here are moving towards the cage. And I don't know if there's enough security to get them out of there. Khabib perhaps trying to explain himself here to Dana. Yeah, you don't want to be anywhere near the press conference after this. Daniel Cormier in there now, supporting his teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov, Luke Rockhold as well. But one thing that is undisputed about Conor McGregor is that he is honorable in defeat, Joe, respectful in defeat, and he did not deserve that right hand, the wayward right hand from a teammate inside the octagon after losing a mixed martial arts fight. No, that was disgusting. It was two things disgusting. Khabib jumping out of the octagon and attacking Dylan Dennis was foolish, but, but Khabib's friends jumping into the octagon and attacking Conor, who had no idea that they were there, just jumped on him. It was completely cowardly. And just, I know they're friends with him and they got caught up in the moment, but it's so unnecessary, so terrible for the sport, and ruins this moment, which is an incredible moment for Khabib. And we have to get back to it, to that end. This replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. Well, let's take a look at it here. This is the end of the fight. Khabib takes Connor down. Again, ties up his legs, gets his back, drags him to the ground. Got his back, got his neck, got under the neck, was cranking his neck. It was really more of a neck crank than it was even a choke. If you look at it, he's not even under the chin. And Connor forced to tap. And Khabib's still furious. Even after Connor taps, Khabib's getting up. He screams at him. I mean, this is awful. Incredible, incredible performance by Khabib. But then to have this afterwards is just so disappointing. Well, and Khabib is such a calculated, well-thought individual that it's going to be interesting to hear from him as to why he exploded in such fashion. He's asking where his belt is now. Mick Maynard, our matchmaker, holding on to the gold, but... You know, and this is not going to end here. This is what's unfortunate. This is going to spill out onto the streets. There's a lot of Russian fans. There's a lot of Irish fans. A lot of this, alcohol. There's well, a lot of booze and the, a lot of chaos. The, the big picture of this whole thing is you, you're a champion and you got to carry yourself as one. And now everybody who follows you is going to be instigated by this as well. So, yeah, you're right, Joe. There's going to be fights everywhere tonight. Just when you thought maybe you had seen it all. An amazing night of mixed martial arts competition, somewhat marred here late by the fight after the fight. Dana White's in front of us right now, just disgusted by the whole thing. Saying that Khabib probably won't be fighting again for a long time, and maybe not Carter either. Well, 
Well, Connor didn't do anything. I mean, Connor lost, but he stayed there and he got attacked. True. Khabib jumped out of the octagon, attacked Dylan Dennis. His friends jumped in the octagon and attacked Connor. Connor didn't even retaliate. I mean, he has got he got jumped. Yeah, that's what it amounts to. What's crazy is Khabib doing that. He's going to get fined. He's likely going to get suspended. This is awful. It's just not a pretty way to become champion, in my opinion. It's not how I would want it. And just, I can't overstate how out of character it is for the eternally composed Khabib Nurmagomedov, sure. Well, he's a respectful man, and when he's disrespected, he takes it extremely personally. He doesn't think this is just a game, this isn't fun, it's not promotion. It's, it, for him, this is deeply, deeply personal. It's rooted, it went all the way to families for these two gentlemen, so it's a big deal for both of them. I'm with this bill. Here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is, uh, this is what I believe. If I put this belt on you, everybody's going to start throwing shit into the octagon. Not, I like to put this. Not other people. Not other people. So they're going to usher Khabib Nurmagomedov out of the octagon. And Dana White said he wasn't going to put Khabib's belt on him. This is crazy. This is absolutely the craziest moment I've ever seen in all my years of calling fights. It was already the biggest fight of all time, and now it's spilled out into something completely it's just, different. It's awful because it's such a black eye on the sport. You know, I mean, it was a great night. It was a spectacular victory for Khabib. And to have all this play out like that, He's so incredibly disappointed. So incredibly disappointing. And Nurmagomedov seemed hell-bent on getting that belt inside the octagon, but they will usher him out. He will not talk to Joe Rogan. We will. Career. If he thought he experienced hate before this, this is going to be on a whole other level. All right, the official decision brought to you by Metro PCS, now Metro by T-Mobile. Discover the smarter way to get unlimited and see what's new on October 8th. One final time tonight, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, three seconds of the fourth round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. EA Sports UFC 3, get up to 50% off, including exclusive in-game content with the new limited-time UFC 3 Notorious Edition available on Xbox One and PS4 until October 16th. It's so weird to watch him run a commercial now. <laughs> yeah, it really is, isn't it? It's so surreal. I'm just know. glad we didn't send you in there, my man. Yeah, I know, right? I would've got run over. I, I know you kick hard, but... Please. <laughs> I would've got run over. What would've been your technique of choice? Uh, running. <laughs> running, jumping over the cage. <laughs> I mean, I would've tried to talk some sense into Khabib. I wish someone had grabbed him and said, don't do this. Just don't do this. I mean, I can't believe we needed more security. We had more security here than I've ever seen in any fight ever before. Everybody anticipated this was going to be a hot, hot moment where there's going to be a lot of tension. But to have this play out the way it played out is just, so, it's so disappointing. UFC 229, Habib versus McGregor has been brought to you by Harley Davidson. You fire up an HD motorcycle, adrenaline kicks in and refuses to tap out. Check it out at h-d.com slash explore. And by Motel 6. When you're ready to tap out, book online at motel6.com. We'll leave the light on for you. On Saturday, October 27th, the UFC returns with a stacked card in the main event. Top 10 light heavyweights clash as knockout artist Vulcan Uzdemir takes on surging contender Anthony Lionheart Smith. Plus, electrifying athletes from Canada and around the globe. UFC Fight Night, Vulcan versus Smith. On Saturday, October 27th, only on Fox Sports 1. 
Well, it was a night they will be talking about for years to come. The executive producing athletes from Canada and around the globe. UFC Fight Night, Vulcan versus Smith, on Saturday, October 27th, only on Fox Sports 1. Well, it was a night they will be talking about for years to come. The executive producers of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC President Dana White, Ari Emanuel, and Patrick Weitzel. Our executive VP of operations and production is Craig Borsari. Our coordinating producer, Zach Candido. Tonight's show has been produced by Michael.